What's up, I'm Mason the Mason. I'm with uh, my cousin, Jeremy the Worm. Back with Homestead, it's his YouTube channel. Go check him out. In this video, we're gonna be pouring some concrete countertops. So this is what we're using. This is uh, some stuff uh, they ordered off the internet. Concrete countertop solutions. So if you're interested, you know, take a picture of that and, and look them up. It comes in a little nine pound bag like this. Instructions on the back back here shows you, uh, tells you how to do it, and you just mix it with this Quickcrete sand topping mix. If you don't like that, Quickcrete also makes a, a countertop mix, but this is just as good. Tools you're gonna need for this is water, buckets, that drill right there with a paddle bit, power. You don't wanna do this with a uh, electric one, because even with the cord, we had it smoking last time. You're gonna need a trowel, a block trowel to help spread it out. It'll be like your your rake for normal concrete days. Uh, I got a board here. I'm using it as my screed and uh, a mag. So pour it with the mag, a trowel, and this. So these tools are for pouring it, and this is all you need when you finish it. Nice little trowel. Shout out to Ox Tools. Go check them out. They have some of the toughest tools that I've ever used. I really love everything that I've ever gotten from them. So definitely my favorite tool company. So yeah, we're gonna mix this up. Put it in here, smooth it out. Not much to it. So we keep it stiff, because that's what it said to do on the package. So he dumps it in here. I take my trowel and I smooth it out. I keep it about a quarter inch high to my form. That way I can screed it and pull some stuff back. If you notice here, we got this wire mesh. What I did was I picked it up and brought the mud through it. That way this mesh doesn't lay on the ground and it stays in the middle of uh, the concrete here. But yeah, I use this like a rake. Duke it out. Push it up. Uh, I take my screed board here. You gotta be careful because it starts pulling down a little bit. So then you just set it back. And then uh, you just mag behind it and make sure those forms are completely filled and you're not leaving any of this stuff on the forms. Here's the vibrator, you know, fancy Milwaukee, battery operated. Squeeze the trigger on this thing. <laughs> That is a full bucket. Yeah. Kind of fell down a little bit, so I just got to go back and uh, fill in and screen it again. But yeah, so we're just going to repeat that process all the way down the countertop. All right, so I switched it up a little bit. So instead of uh, screening it and then vibrating it, it makes way more sense to vibrate it. So I just vibrated it. And uh, that way all the holes I got filled in before I uh, screeded it makes it way easier. And then when I vibrate over here and over here, like how I just did, that didn't sink, right? So I vibrated over here and it didn't sink because I vibrated it before I screeded it. So there's no holes already. So vibrate, then screed. Make sure you're pulling your mesh up. All right, so it's all poured. I hit it with my uh, steel finish trowel one time. And all this water is still uh, 
coming to the surface. So now I'm just gonna wait for a while since it's all smooth and glossy. Now all I gotta do is wait for this water to disappear. So like you see how it's like shining in the light? The way that I know it's time to finish this is when that uh, reflection disappears, you know? And then uh, I'm ready to seal trowel. So we're just gonna hang out here for a little bit and wait. To All finish. right, so this is getting real close to, to being able to finish, right? So do you see right here, I got this water on here. It's reflecting the light, right? Right here, no reflection. That is ready to finish. I started rubbing it a little bit, but it's still a little too wet. But yeah, once that reflection, like see how it's really reflecting here is gone like this. You can rub that down and start finishing. So I can't finish any of this. And right here is almost, almost ready. All right, so I've been watching this uh, set up for about like six hours. We're done, done with that. So we got a fan blowing on it, getting that water off the top. And uh, it's about ready to start burning. I just hit it, wiped all the water off, but the fans are taken away. And I'm about ready to burn this. And what burn means is you rub it when it gets too hard and it puts black streaks in it, black streaks in it and it makes it really, really shiny. So it'll look real pretty. It's ready to finish. And what you wanna be careful of is peeling the top off because, you know, it's starting to dry. And if you take your trowel and just stick it on here and pick it up, it'll rip it off. So don't ever pick it straight up. I always wanna angle it. So I'm just gonna start rubbing it. You don't wanna, if you notice, I'm not like tilting this up a whole lot, right? I'm keeping it semi-flat. I'm only picking it up like a millimeter. And that keeps it nice and flat and doesn't peel the finish up. If you ever have to leave like a spot, just pick it up in the air while you're moving. I'll just do it because I can fix it. But if you just go like this and pick it up, you're gonna you're gonna make it peel. So don't ever do that. If it starts to get really hard, like back in here, I don't know if you can see. And you can't get it to finish all nice, or it's not burning. It's important to keep this wet. So I keep a bucket with me. Dip it. You don't want to put too much water on here. But you just get that wet. It makes it like glass then. Gives it that shine. Woo. So this is what it looks like when it's finished. Tomorrow we'll come back and we'll just take these forms off. And yeah, it'll look real good. So. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. And yeah, thanks for watching.